Hi everybody, hope you're doing well and uh, just welcome to another Elder Light devotional from HFC. Uh, we're going to continue working through our most recent session now on James. Uh, and so today I'm going to be looking at James 1 verses uh, 12 to 18. Uh, and this uh, this passage is interesting. It's a uh, It kind of starts off with a verse, it's a continuation from the previous passage uh, where James is talking about trials and, and how we approach those. Um, and then the majority of the pack passage focuses on temptations and where those come from and, uh, and how we respond to those. And, uh, I think for me, yeah, this passage is particularly interesting right now, uh, especially the first verse, verse 12, uh, related to trials. Cause I just feel like I'm struggling at the moment. I've got some health stuff going on that, um, yeah, just not feeling great. I think it's my digestive system. Um, but anyways, definitely just feeling like that's. Uh, definitely a bit of a trial uh, that I'm going through. So, so for me, it uh, yeah, it's neat to be able to jump into this passage and look at that verse, and uh, and even just in this very specific situation that I'm uh, experiencing right now, uh, just look at how to bring God into that, and um, yeah, how God would have us persevere through trials. Um, so anyway, I think this is a great passage, uh, both for practical reasons related to trials and temptations, and also how that relates to our uh, overall spiritual growth. So that's what we're gonna and a focus on as we walk through it. Uh, but let's jump into the passage. Uh, so again, it's James uh, chapter 1, verses 12 through 18. Uh, and I'll be reading from the English Standard Version if you want to follow along. So it says, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. And he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should all, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. So yeah, again, um, I think this one is interesting. Uh, as I mentioned, it it carries on from the the, the start of this chapter in uh, verse twelve, where it talks about how we respond to trials. Um, and so basically, what it says here it says the Christian who steadfastly endures trials and has stood the test will receive the crown of life. Uh, and so I was, I was digging into that a bit in the commentaries, and um, I think uh, there's a couple of views on what the crown of life is referring to, uh, and I think both are absolutely applicable and, and apply. Um, the crown of life uh, is most likely life here and now. Um, as we bring God into our trials and uh, as we persevere and steadfastly endure them, uh, that enables us to uh, experience life in its fullness here and now. Uh, because essentially, as we're able to persevere through those trials uh, and we're able to grow as, as a result, um, we actually experience a more yeah, fuller experience of life, life in its completeness. Um, so I think for me, that's, uh, that's the real kind of practical application of, of persevering and steadfastly facing our trials. It's, um, it's interesting when I was growing up and probably beyond then my dad would something that stuck with me from my dad was um to finish strong uh, to kind of continue push on finish strong uh, and i think that's kind of what god is calling us here too uh, but i think what's hugely important uh, to point out i think what i've really been experiencing recently just with what's going on with my health is that uh, god is not telling us to do that by our own strength he's not telling us to just push on put our head down get through uh, he's calling us to uh, bring him into those trials uh, and to, uh, yeah, rely on him for strength in the midst of those. Because um, I think so often, I know I think what I'm experiencing, it's really easy in the midst of trials and, and challenges to to that's when we kind of want to like put our head down and and uh, and really just by our own strength try and get through. And uh, one, that's not what God has called us to. And and two, I think we get a bit overwhelmed often by that, uh, and that can be a real source of stress and anxiety. I know that's what I experience, just trying to push through this sickness and, and push through a few things I'm dealing with at work. Um, so for me, this verse just really resonates for that reason. Um, 
just that uh, God blesses those who steadfastly endure trials uh, because they're an opportunity for growth. I think that's the way that God uh, grows and shapes us. And I think that, um, and, and the huge blessing in that is, um, is spiritual growth. I think that um, when we bring him in, when we, when we uh, instead of operating through our own strengths, uh, bring him into the trials and what we're facing, I think that's when we grow closer to him. And, and at the end of the day, you know, I do think that's what our time here on earth is all about. It's uh, our relationship with God and, and growing spiritually. And so I think uh, the flip side, you know, of trials is they can bring us down. Uh, they can get us sidetracked. They can get us focused on other things. And so I think they can be a real hindrance and a real barrier to our relationship with God and, and, to, and to spiritual growth in a real practical way, just in the sense of uh, bringing our attention to other things and shifting our focus from God. Um, but even though challenges, trials are challenging by nature, um, I think the beauty of being able to steadfastly endure them and persevere through them by bringing God into them um, absolutely does bring us closer to him, which, you know, at the end of the day, whether we are um, experiencing uh, amazing times or whether we're in some of the deep, darkest lows, uh, at the end of the day, I think our goal, regardless, is to grow closer to God and, and grow in uh, spiritual maturity and, and just develop our faith in him. And, and so I think this is how, uh, one of the ways that he intends for us to do that. Um, so it's hard, I know for me, in the midst of what I'm dealing with, it's hard to, to see this, this trial as an opportunity and as a positive thing. Um, but I do think there's potential there. And, um, and I think that's the blessing that, that comes to persevering and enduring. And um, just the other interpretation that I think is valid and, and applies here too is um, in doing this and remaining close to God and, and in relationship with Him, we have the blessing of eternal life. Um, so there is also, uh, beyond these challenges and these trials that we experience uh, here on earth, uh, we know that uh, we have an eternity in heaven with God. Uh, and that's going to be an amazing and beautiful thing. And so that's just another reason to, uh, yeah, steadfastly endure the, the, the difficulties that we face here on earth, uh, because we know that, um, yeah, there is just perfect peace, perfect rest um, in our eternity eventually spent with God. Um, so now I think, yeah, shifting into uh, verses 13 through 18, um, we move away from talking about trials and more towards temptations. And I think it's interesting because um, similar to talking about trials, there's also kind of practical implications for how we're living our life. And then uh, at the end of it, I think it's really related to our spiritual maturity and growth. Uh, so basically what we see are uh, first the source of temptation is addressed, uh, then the steps of temptation, and then basically the solution uh, to responding to temptation. Uh, and so it's very clear here, um, the source of temptation is not from God. That's made very clear in this passage. Uh, God does not tempt us. Um, God does allow us to face trials, uh, but God does not tempt us. He does not tempt us to sin. Um, and, and what we see referred to here is it's our own sin nature. It's our evil desires. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, the sin that we were born into, uh, that's where the temptation comes from. Um, and it's this, yeah, I think this kind of inner craving that we have to have in us that, that, uh, there's at risk of dragging us away and, and pulling us towards, towards sin. Um, and so then the steps that are involved, which I kind of started moving into there are, uh, temptation is kind of the, the urge or the, yeah, the desire. Uh, and then that <coughs> potentially leads to sin, uh, if we don't resist that temptation. Uh, and sin leads to death. Now that's what the that's what the passage says here. Uh, and I think, yeah, again, I think with with both the I guess practical and spiritual application. I think practically we can see uh, the ways that sin just disrupts and uh, causes huge challenges in our life. Um, you know, whether it be temptations, uh, sexual desire. You can kind of go through, I guess the. The big sins, but we can see that when we indulge, when we when we allow that temptation to overcome us, and we indulge and we engage in those sins, that uh, can create real challenges in our relationships, uh, in our own just emotional, mental health. Uh, and then the biggest thing, again, similar to the trials and how we approach those, is um, when we give into temptation and we sin. Uh, I, I do think that uh, hinders our spiritual maturity and our spiritual growth. Uh, God is, of course, always there for us. His grace is more than sufficient. But I think uh, when we go down path towards sin, 
uh, it's of course hard at the same time to be growing in relationship with God. And so, so again here, I think, um, yeah, we talk about the solution, not like I said, the source, the steps, the solution. The solution for temptation is to be found in a close relationship with God the Father, uh, just in a constant response to his word. Uh, and so I think it's it's kind of similar that where um, when we allow temptation to bring us into sin, uh, yeah, our, our relationship with God, it's hard for that to be, I think, the primary focus uh, when, we're, when we're moving deep into sin. But the other way around, when we bring God into that, um, when we rely on God for his strength, which we saw with the trials as well, uh, when we rely on his strength to resist temptation, that is a source of spiritual growth. And that's something that brings us closer to him. So again, I think that's, again, I think the big theme here is that's what our time here on this earth is about. It's about growing closer to God. It's about developing a relationship with him. And so, uh, yeah, just digging into our relationship with him and to his word to help us resist temptation absolutely is going to translate to, uh, yeah, that spiritual growth and that maturity that, that is just such a blessing. Um, and so I think, yeah, important to note that God's grace is sufficient uh, as Christians, as having accepted Jesus as our Savior, uh, we do have this eternal life to look forward to, um, and we do have the Holy Spirit in us. Um, but as we yeah, steadfastly endure trials, and as we resist temptation, uh, and as we do that um, with God, bringing him into that, uh, we were close in relationship with him. And I think that's just, uh, that's true life. I think that is what God intends for us to experience uh, on this earth. I think that's what we're striving for. And I think, uh, well, we see in scripture that, that that's what brings um, peace that surpasses all understanding, uh, which is something that we will experience uh, in its fullness eventually someday in heaven. Um, but I know that's something that all of us would just love to continue to have a piece of and have more of uh, here on this earth. Uh, so I know anyhow for me, like I mentioned a few times, uh, that's something that I'm really working on right now uh, and something that I'm trying to work towards. Um, so that's my prayer for you all as well. Uh, so thanks so much for tuning in. I uh, hope you all have a great week.